Hello, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to another video, and today we're continuing our NBA collection, working on a piece that's a little bit closer to home because I do live in the Bay Area, and it is going to be a piece on Stephen Curry. Now, I've never been a Warriors fan my whole entire life, but they are moving to a new arena, and it feels like a fresh, brand new start, and I'm a Clippers fan. I'll always be a Clippers fan, number one, no matter what. Even if they're playing the Warriors, Clippers are always going to be my go-to team. That's the team I cheer for, no matter what. But I do want to start cheering for my hometown team, which is the Golden State Warriors. And this season, it just feels like it's a whole new environment. They're moving to San Francisco this year with their new arena that just opened. They're no longer the overwhelming favorites that they've been for the past four to five years. The main guys are the same, but Clay's gonna be gone for a very long time, and the supporting cast is completely renovated. So with that being said, I wanted to design something that represented the Bay Area's team as a whole. Whenever you're working on something, especially in the beginning phases, never be afraid to put down rough sketches or early guidelines because not only will they help you put down the proper lines that you want, but it will also help speed up the process because you know exactly where things are going instead of just winging it. Another great tool that you can use are references. References are amazing. Don't be afraid to use them. Many young artists are afraid of using references because they feel like they're copying. And if you're trying to capture the essence of something that exists in real life, or if you're trying to get a pose exactly right, references are probably the best way to help you get those things done. But with that said, there are also rules. If you use it to completely copy and claim someone else's work for your own, then that's wrong. References are there to help you improve and get better as an artist. So the next time when you try drawing that same thing, you can do it a little bit better every time and hopefully one day won't need to use the reference. Right now, as you guys can see, I have most of the line work pretty much done and I'm starting to get into the details of this piece. I was adding in colors when I remembered that the Warriors don't actually use the Golden Gate Bridge in their logo. Even though that's what most people think, it's actually the Bay Bridge that's referenced on the Golden State Warriors logo. But here's where I take some artistic license, because even though I used a reference of the Golden Gate Bridge, I decided to stick with this design and just change up the color scheme because I really like the way that the bridge turned out, even though it might not be an exact replication of the Bay Bridge. To be completely honest with you guys, Curry was definitely the hardest part about this whole artwork. And it was very hard to find a balance of adding detail to his face to make him look as much as Stephen Curry as possible, while maintaining that simplistic look to help match everything else on this artwork. Luckily I found this reference photo of him with a hoodie. I was going for an Assassin's Creed type of look because his nickname is the Baby Faced Assassin. Even with the photo though, it was still very difficult to get Curry to look the way I wanted, especially with the limitations of it being as simplistic as possible. The biggest problem was his nose. It was definitely too big, and it made him look like Clay Thompson a little bit. But at the end of the day, I realized that that wasn't too much of a problem because a lot of people like Clay Thompson too, so I decided to kind of trim it down a little bit and not worry about it too much. and. I decided to just move on from the piece, but I did like the finished product and the result. And if you want to help support me, please leave a like and subscribe. You can also go to redbubble.com to check out some shirts and hoodies that I designed. Everything is on that site. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.